Doing a portrait study from life is a very interesting practice task for an artist. This is artist Ramya Sadasivam. I have been practicing portraits for 12 years now. I love to create pencil portraits. I am a naturalist. I like the style freehand more than grid. Freehand is more exciting and challenging for me than grid. In my opinion, if you knew how to study a portrait from photo or from life without the use of grid, just through visual measurement, you would not need grid at all. Or even if you think you need grid, your portrait study using a grid will make more sense if you knew how to study a portrait the freehand way. There is a lot of thrill in achieving resemblance of your model in your artwork through freehand. As you keep doing portrait study from life, realism will become very easy for you. As I have had a lot of portrait practice earlier, I have a technique that always helps me achieve resemblance close to 90% of the model who is sitting in the front and posing for me. That is something that I have taught in my course. I use the same technique to study a portrait from life or from photo. This technique has given me better results and I know how to achieve resemblance of the character my model who is posing for me for my portrait study. I always prefer to study from life because whenever I do a portrait study from life, it is slightly more challenging than studying from photo. And one more important thing is that studying from life teaches you a lot about light and values and, and how to see light in terms of values. When you understand light properly, you are a lot close to achieving realism. People that like my style of portrait study can check my course on the link mentioned above ramyasadasivam.com slash courses slash portrait. For more such portrait studies from photo and life, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of the video and have fun. Thank you for your time.